uh, to build uh, a pretty beefy uh, robot platform. It goes under the name uh, Ubiquity Robotics. Uh, I have been you know, contributing, as have been a number of other people in the club. We can get a raise of hands of people who have been contributing to Ubiquity Robotics. So, um, and um, so uh, what's going to be happening is, uh, I, won't, I won't steal the thunder, but uh, I'll let they ex explain what's ha happening next with Ubiquity Robotics, okay? okay. Thanks very much, Ryan, guys. So, just a quick show of hands. How many people here have, have seen some of our demos before? I mean, we have, you know, so like lots of people have seen demos. So, you know, Wayne, um, you know, Wayne said you know, we should do a talk on in Ubiquity about Ubiquity for Homebrew, and um, I said great, um, and he said, but don't talk about the robot. Don't talk about the robot. Um, talk a bit about how we can, um, how you can crowdfund things, how you can make robots happen, and so forth. So I really struggled a little bit um, with, you know, what we would call a talk, and um, you know, I came up. I struggled a little bit with. I struggled a little bit with. If anybody wants to get up and move to this side of the room, do that now. Um, I struggled a little bit with what we were going to call the talk, and I came up with this: building a robot is fun. Build, building a, thou a thousand of them can be a real. And then I, I really struggled with that last word. What the last word should be. <laughs> and I decided that, that, that beauty was the right, right term <laughs> for, the, for the last So, so we're going to have we're going to have a story in three parts but the story goes like this um, the first part of the story is let's make a uh, 50 pound payload I mean 100 pound payload I mean 250 pound payload robot that's inexpensive enough for guys like us to, to be able to afford it. Um, and uh, that was kind of the initial problem. That was the initial problem statement. The second part of the story is, well, we need a supply chain to do that. We need a, it's not okay just to be able to build one robot. We, we need to build a supply chain to do that. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about supply chain in this talk. And then we need to fund it. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about crowdfunding and all that. Ubiquity Robotics started with, with this, this problem statement. Create a low-cost robotics platform with meaningful capability to enable a broad range of applications. Why did we want to do that? Well, current generic robots were costly. It was about 15, at the time, it was about 1,500 for TurtleBot. Um, and those robots have limited functionality with short endurance, 45 minutes, and small payload, only a few pounds. This situation kind of hasn't changed. TurtleBot 2 runs about 1480. TurtleBot 3 <coughs> Waffle with all the sensors is about 1800. And they still have short endurance. They still have limited functionality. And what we wanted was a robot that cost less than 500 to build and could thus be sold for less than 1,000 and can handle substantial payloads. Originally, we said greater than 50 pounds, but that became 100 and 250 pounds. And I think all of you have seen me do this before. Right. You can stand on the robot and it drives around and, and so forth. Even, even people, um, you know, you can even, uh, even people, I've uh, even had the courage to drive around on this thing before. So that was the problem statement. How can we build a robot with high endurance, payload, vision, and navigation capabilities for less than 500? And we started, the, the original uh, version one robot was just a wheelchair robot. The $500 came because I said, well, you know, I can import wheelchair bases from China for 250. You know, the uh, motor controller and computer. Uh, we surely can do that for another 250. Um, it didn't prove to be that simple, and we eventually wound up starting to design our V2 design, which was a fully uh, ground-up design of the robot. Um, our V2, we actually put components of this into production. We then produced the V3 design, which had many manufactured components. In fact, many manufactured components that were made out in China, um, according to our design. But as you can see, there's still quite a lot that's not really manufactured or manufacturable. 
we then produced V4. Um, that's starting to look a lot more like a product. And then V5 is, is the robot that I, I demo here. And I think you've all seen. And what's going to be happening is, is that on March the 10th, we are going to be crowdfunding it on Indiegogo. So if you want to get this robot, we will have it on Indiegogo. And yes, it'll be $9.99. It'll be under $1,000. The problem, though, about uh, oh, a little bit of a mistake there. Um, the problem, though, with with some of these things was really that that um, you know they, they weren't manufacturable. You, you, we had to start to think about supply chain, right? We had to start to think about supply chain. Here, I was just buying components, but as you go through here, you need to think a little bit more about some of the things that can go wrong when you're not just producing one robot; you're producing several. 